Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Now my favorite stormtrooper is without a doubt the Biker Scout. I don't know about you guys, that's my, that's my jam, that's my, that's my guy. Uh, but today I thought we would look at the evolution of all the stormtroopers throughout the trilogy. The stormtrooper is instantly recognizable and loved by millions of people around the world. It is no coincidence that the Stormtrooper has remained popular throughout the decades as the coolest looking soldier the galaxy has to offer. The design that we saw in the original Star Wars movie blew me away and continues to capture my attention and admiration. George Lucas saw fit to give Darth Vader an impressive looking army of troopers. Statistically speaking though, their aim is atrocious and shockingly embarrassing at times. However, they remain the oppressive dark force in the galaxy. Now it's anyone's guess if Lucas purposely changed the design of the Stormtrooper for each film in the trilogy to bolster toy sales, or if it was purely creative storytelling. Either way, I'm happy that he did, and moreover, I'm happy that Kenner made each iteration of the Stormtrooper into a 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure. Released on card back in 1978 as part of the first 12, the Stormtrooper action figure is something that every kid in America had at least one or two of in their collection, perhaps more if they could convince mom to buy them multiples of the same figure. The Stormtrooper looked identical to what we saw in the original 1977 Star Wars film, a dead-on likeness. Stormtrooper stood tall and came packaged with a E-11 signature Stormtrooper blaster, which could be blue or blue-black. Variations vary on that um, blaster, but you needed more than one if you were going to take on Han, Luke, and Leia. And this wasn't a popular figure, but you needed an army of these guys in your playtime. As collectors, we're all familiar with the term of army building, but I think it really took off and started and was pioneered in the 70s. Kids were trying to build up their empire, trying to recreate scenes like this from Return of the Jedi or just have an army of stormies in general. I mean, who doesn't want a ton of bucket heads in your collection? These guys rock. Perfect stature, ready to go at a moment's notice. Man, Stormtrooper is an amazing action figure truly a staple in any Star Wars collection. The original Kenner Stormtrooper is a classic example, a fine representation of the original 1977 Star Wars movie. I consider The Empire Strikes Back the greatest film in the trilogy for many reasons. The Battle of Hoth being one of them. Such an iconic impressive battle took place on the snowy terrains of Hoth. Seeing the giant Imperial at, -AT walkers was quite the spectacle. But we also got another surprise when Darth Vader entered Echo Base and was accompanied by a new version of Stormtrooper. The Snowtrooper, as he was later nicknamed, was completely different looking than the previous Stormtrooper as he had been redesigned with a functioning cold weather helmet and armor suitable for planets with less than desirable temperatures. Audiences instantly accepted that these were Stormtroopers in different armor. Kenner released their 3 and 3 quarter inch version on card back in 1980, labeled Imperial Stormtrooper Hoth Battle Gear. The figure populated playtime down on Hoth very quickly. Keep in mind, nowhere is the word Snowtrooper mentioned or said in the film or on any marketing, but collectors and the like have always affectionately called him the Snowtrooper. It makes sense. Can't argue with a good thing. The Kenner Stormtrooper in Hoth Gear looks exactly like he did in Echo Base in the movie. Sporting a bone white armor, comes uh, with a vinyl cape, or I shouldn't say a cape, I should call it a skirt actually. A vinyl skirt, which is a throwback to the original line of figures when they used the capes. I think that's a nice touch. Attaches at the waist. Um, very cool. Also comes with a blaster rifle, which is uh, the Snowtrooper signature weapon. But it's also the same weapon that Kenner packaged with Dengar, the bounty hunter. So, you know, these are interchangeable. This weapon works for both figures, which is, which is cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, the Snowtrooper is awesome. I really think he's a sweet figure. No Hoth setup is um, complete without him. He does, however, um, he does come in a variation. Specifically, the helmets are different. On the right, the eye sockets are split, and on the left, it's a univisor. You can see the difference if you look closely. Split eyes and a single visor. Um, so yeah, different variations. Kind of cool, unexpected. 
But the Snow Trooper is an awesome figure no matter which variation you got. Um, I highly recommend picking one up. Super cool. I, I'm looking to pick up a couple more for my battle scenes to be honest with you guys. Return of the Jedi followed in the steps of Empire by introducing its very own version of the classic Stormtrooper. When Han, Luke, and Leia touched down on the lush green forest of Endor, they encountered the Empire's troops in short time. Piloting the very fast and incredibly dangerous speeder bikes were biker scouts who have an incredibly cool looking helmet and functional armor that actually allowed them to pilot the bikes as well as shoot at rebels more efficiently. Kenner released the Biker Scout on card back in 1983 and kids everywhere rejoiced. This new awesome looking stormtrooper rode around on the coolest hovering bike in the galaxy. Every kid wanted a Biker Scout, even if they couldn't get a speeder bike, which was sold separately, just because he was that cool looking, you still got a Biker Scout. And as I said at the start of this video, the Biker Scout is my favorite version of the iconic Imperial Stormtrooper. Something about the helmet always made me want to get a clutch of them for my collection. The Biker Scout is without a doubt the coolest looking version of the Stormtrooper. I'll argue that with anyone. The design is just impeccable. So dang cool. Um, the helmet, it's all about the helmet for me. And with this particular figure, um, the Biker Scout actually comes in a variation. That's right, the Biker Scout helmet itself is, uh, has a different sculpt. If you look very closely at the helmet, specifically the mouthpiece, the black mouthpiece, there is a difference. The left one is a Kenner made, and the one on the right is a Lily Letty, which is made in Mexico. Um, the mouthpiece is different. You can clearly see the distinction between the two. I actually got this Lily Letty in a lot of figures that I bought, and I didn't know it was a Letty until later on. So double check your figures. You could have a variation on your hands and not even know it. Um, so yeah, it was a nice surprise. I don't really have a, a, va a favorite over the two variations. Um, I'm just happy I have them in my collection, period. And that's what I'm saying to you guys. If you don't have a Biker Scout in your collection, at least one, please get one. They're awesome figures. I think it's safe to say that when you think of the Biker Scout, you think of the speeder bike, you think of Endor. This is my little Endor setup. Um, got some Scouts here. Got a Biker... Uh, Biker Scout, you know, assault team ready to take on uh, Han and some rebels. And of course, my ATST, which I did a review on the ATST. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys so you can check out that video. But yeah, I love the Biker Scouts. Like I've been saying, there's an old school card back with the original sticker still on it. I'm crazy about the Biker Scouts. I can't stop gushing about them, guys. Absolutely love them. This is my other. Um, Endor setup. This is my Ewok village where the remaining clutch of my scouts are hanging out at, keeping tabs on Luke, Han, and Leia, making sure they don't get in any trouble. And um, another speeder bike, of course. And yes, those are two more scouts in the net. Ewoks got to eat, right? Just wanted to show you guys my complete biker scout setup. Truly think Kenner killed it, they crushed it. Literally gave us amazing action figures. The Stormtrooper, the Snow Trooper, and my beloved Biker Scout. Awesome representations of what we saw in the movies. Thank you so much, Kenner. As I told you guys, my favorite Stormtrooper is the Biker Scout, but what's your favorite Stormtrooper? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys like this video, give that like button a thumbs up because it does help out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.